So five Just Stop Oil protesters have just been arrested. I don't even know what for. I couldn't bother doing the research. and Mainly because I don't really care. You know, I don't really care if they put paint around. I don't really care if they touched the monument or sat on the road. Or even if they just stood in a little circle with their little annoying liberal voices. With their painted hair. Sitting with a bit of orange hair. <laughs> with sitting there with their big clown nose. Shouting Just Stop Oil. I don't really care what they did. So they've been put... Greenpeace tried to make it sound really big and crazy. They put, five Just Stop Oil protesters have been put in jail for a whopping 21 years. It's it's 21 years in total, all five of them. Two of them got sent for five years. Three of them got sent for four years. I think it's totally and utterly deserved. I'm, out, I'm over the moon about this. Now, what I'm not also over the moon about is that if you're a foreign rapist, you'll probably get a one year in jail. So I think it's a bit you know, inconsistent. I think if you can get put in jail for four years for being a Just Stop Oil protester, I think you should at least get put in jail for like 20 years for something crazy and extraordinary. It's a bit, you know, interesting how you could, you could literally commit rape, murder, and you would get put in jail less than a Just Stop Oil protester. But, I'm nothing against a load by itself Just Stop Oil protester getting arrested for five years. That is five years of clean, of nice clean roads without pain, Think about the money it's going to save. You know when they throw paint at everyone, you have to spend thousands of pounds. Millions sometimes, trying to restore things, rebuild, take it down, the labour hours, everything. The police, the police having to do their protests. So this is going to save a lot of money for the government. I'm totally in favour of this. Arrest every single... You know how if you were like affiliated with ISIS? Let's say you're affiliated with ISIS or Al-Qaeda, you're in Britain. You would get arrested immediately. It's time to finally call Just Stop Oil what it really is. A domestic terrorist group. They're a terrorist group, you need to put them all in jail. Anybody affiliated with the group, I don't care if you've been to one protest, put in jail. Put them all in jail. Doesn't matter. Because if, if you think about it, right? Being in jail is the most sustainable life you could live. It's like everybody's concentrated in one small little area, bare minimum food. I mean, now they, now they get phones, they get all this nice little treatment, but it's quite, it's pretty low emission. You know, you, you kind of just wear the same clothes every day, little small, you know, you're not you're not wasting land. So don't even worry about the population crisis, because you're all nice and compact. I don't, I don't see why they're complaining, if they're truly, if they really care about the climate, and they really care about global warming, then they should be grateful to be in jail. They should be creating their own jails just to sit in for the rest of their lives. You know, because they sit there with their oil-based paints, you're like, what? These people don't make sense. But yeah, I don't care that they're put in jail. I don't. I just don't like them. There's just people on the right like to call themselves. We are. Uh, they believe that if they're right wing, they're conservative. They must be a libertarian. I understand why that is because you start to resent everything about the other side. So the other side, the elitist, the tyrannical NGOs with the uh, World Economic Forum, World Health Organization, EU, UN, anything. They're all trying to take your freedoms away. They're trying to tell us what to eat, tell us where, to, where we can and cannot go, protest, or try to censor us online. So we've sort of began to resent control. We've started to, we've started to resent authority. But that's actually not good because then we're going to allow pride marches. If we took power, we were, well, we're libertarians, so we got to allow the pride marches. we got to allow the Just Stop Oil to peacefully protest. Everybody's out here condemning it. Well, if they were just peaceful protesters, they shouldn't be in jail. No wrong if you're with Just Up Oil. If you're promoting an ideology, which is one false, look, they're the real people spreading misinformation. If you're going to spread something that's going to make people poorer, if they're going to also turn vegan because of the carbon emissions, they're actually endangering life because they're going to make people unhealthy. They're going to cause the blackouts, they're going to cause all of this stuff. They're going to cause the massive degrowth of the economy, everyone's going to get poorer. It's like, that's what it is. We're going to take away jobs. Well, if we just take away all the oil jobs, at least we're replacing them with green jobs. Well, at least the oil, at least the oil-based jobs, the oil rigs, at least are contributing to society. Green-based jobs, woohoo! More jobs, more blackouts. Who cares? At least it's more jobs. So forget the whole job thing. It's not true, because sure, you everyone gets a job. It's not going to affect unemployment. But then the jobs are just ineffective. They're pointless. You might as well just fire everyone anyway at that point. So I'm, I'm over the moon, I'm ecstatic. Hope the Just Stop Oil protest, hope they don't get released after 40% of their sentence. Because <laughs> if I have to choose five people in the entire world to not release through halfway through their sentence, it would be the Just Stop Oil people. Because that's five less annoying liberal libtards off the street. 
Can you think of better news than that? Can you th- please name something better than five less libtards out the street? Coffee shops are open. Can finally get a seat. After all of these nice luxuries in life, can be finally enjoyed again, the simple things. So, arrest every single justifiable protester. Be stricter. Build new prisons. Build the oil prison. You know what you should do? This would be a great deterrent for anybody affiliating with Just Stop Oil. Create this thing called the oil prison. Okay, so every single person goes to this prison. Open up enough for 5,000 people. Big, big prison. Every single person that is with Just Stop Oil or any single eco-act, eco-activist. Imagine being, look. If there's any word, you know how you got synonyms, words that mean the same thing. I would very, very closely affiliate eco-activist with homosexual. Basically the same thing. But put them all in this massive jail. Put lots of different gender clothes because they all like to cross all this weird stuff. Do that and basically make it so that there's put it right next to an oil rig. Make them watch movies of like birds getting like whole documentaries about uh, reindoctrinate re reeducation camps. Do this, please, please do this. Reeducating them about climate change. It's all a hoax to control you. Take your meat away. Please just tell them. Do everything you can. And basically make it next to the oil refinery and have live cameras showing them. And then broadcast it to the world. Broadcast the inside of the prison where they're all crying. No, we've only got two years left to live. And every two years, put a little date in the like, time on the um on, on the TV. 2020, 2024. August 2024. And it's people crying. We've only got two years left on planet Earth. And then play it again in August 2026 and then just repeat that forever and then play it in like 50 years time of the people in 2024 sitting there crying about oh world's end by 2030 play that in like 2028 i mean 2080 just do this please give, give them hell give them hell please it make the world such a better place it would restore peace restore democracy i can continue eating meat and finally you can walk the streets without seeing fat smelly liberals.